Welcome to a special edition of Queer Network News from the 6th Annual Buffer Festival in downtown Toronto. My name is Justin Gerhardt. This just in. We at the Queer Network are very excited to be premiering our first short film at this year's Buffer Festival called Searching for Love, which explores the story of a gay man looking for love within the ever-changing landscape of queer culture. Throughout the story, the main character, Jack, develops a unique relationship with a dating app on his phone, which in the end is what leads him to a powerful lesson about the search for love. Click on the link in the description to share your thoughts about the film. Buffer Festival is becoming known as the digital version of the Toronto International Film Festival, bringing together YouTube creators and artists from around the globe to premiere brand new content to an exclusive audience of fans and fellow digital media creators. It takes place right after TIFF and is the world's first festival solely dedicated to premiering purely YouTube content. The impressive list of creators this year includes Louis Cole, Hannah Witten, Adrian Bliss, Stephanie Sanjati, Michael Reese, and many more. Queer activist, journalist, and radio host Riyad Kala from London, England is also a part of this year's festival, premiering a short film documentary called Fighting for Pride, which explores the struggles of Swaziland's LGBTQ plus community as they attempt to put on their first historic ever Pride March. You guys are making history. It's going to be an amazing moment on Saturday. <laughs> that one day will stay with each of those people for the rest of their lives. This time around, the pride is in Swaziland. We will be there, no matter what, honey. No matter what. The documentary is made possible through YouTube's Creator for Change program. Rehad has also touched the lives of thousands around the world with the success of his first docuseries, premiering on BBC called Queer Britain which led to three award nominations and global critical acclaim. Attitudes towards homosexuality have changed with the times and even religions have had to adapt, especially here in the UK. But it's still a fact that in 72 countries, same-sex relations are illegal. And in 13 of those countries, it's punishable by death. One option is that you can abstain, which is not something that I would ever do, but I'm super intrigued by the fact that there are still faith-based organizations out there willing to help you rid yourself of your homosexual demons. We were honored to catch up with Riyad on this week's episode of Queer from the Couch to talk more about each of these outstanding projects and what's coming up next for him. This is the beginning of my last act. In order to know how to go forward, I'm gonna have to know where I've been. I am what I am. Jane Fonda is once again in the spotlight with the premiere of her new HBO documentary, Jane Fonda in Five Acts, directed by Susan Lacey, which follows a linear timeline systematically illuminating why the princess of an acting dynasty took a surprising turn toward activism. Each act of the documentary focuses on a different man in her life, starting with her father, then her three husbands, and finally on Fonda herself. Beyond the documentary, Jane also has been a huge supporter and ally of the queer community, most recently through her hit Netflix show, Grace and Frankie, starring alongside her real-life bestie, Lily Tomlin, an on-screen gay couple and ex-husband, Sam Waterston and Martin Sheen. Things have been rough with Saul. We need some time together. Is Saul making you terrible at theater? I'm someone who needs people. Have you two ever considered an open marriage? Mm, that's good, right? Robert, were you even listening to my colonoscopy story? Excuse me, looks like you're handing out dildos. These are vibrators. We are empowering young women. Do you two know how lucky you are to have each other? Yeah, I think we do. Mom, is your knee still bothering you? I'm fine. Do you really think you're going to be able to hide your crap knee from everyone? Do you know where the dog condominiums are? I hate my fucking life. The show is a unique portrayal of both gay and straight people discovering love and companionship within their golden years. After the premiere of season two, Jane sent a message out to the entire queer community saying that you're not alone. All around this country, there are places that you can go to find support and help advice and love. Be sure to catch up on all the first four seasons of Grace and Frankie before the premiere of season five in 2019. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you stay up to date on all the Queer Network's new content. 
We'll see you next week. Queer for me is power. Mm. It's a strong word. Mm. Queer is this all-encompassing um, word and identity that I, I feel doesn't leave anyone out. Yeah.